Afterward, we're going to be solving all 12 gold puzzles before heading into the final section of the game. Second of all, I would like to introduce you to something that I like to call the Wheel of Crime. So, on this wheel you can see 12 different types of exploits. Uh, each gold puzzle corresponds to one of these exploit types, and we'll be giving the wheel a spin before each puzzle to determine which one will be next. There we go. And then we just jump over to this wall here, and over the barrier. Yes, there we go. Alright, that one is finally done. Whew. So there's one, and then we can jump up on that with here, and there we go. But now, let's see if it'll work just jumping to here. And it certainly does. And there we go. Simple as that. And there we go. We didn't even have to enter the puzzle. And it's all solved. Yeah, there we go. That was a good one. Alright, that was a really quick one. So let's give the wheel another spin here. And number seven is going to be outsmarting. Uh, so this is always my favorite type of uh, exploit to pull off. It's fairly rare that I get to just straight up outsmart a puzzle without having to rely on any glitches or anything like that. Uh, but we've done it a few times. And we're going to do it one more time here in West 1. The puzzle is called The Mule. So uh, let's get over there. All right, and our next gold puzzle is this direction right here. All right, so in this one, um, there are two primary oversights, uh, which are instrumental in letting us uh, abuse this one. And the first one is the fact that I don't think they intended for you to be able to get through this gate while it's closed by putting the teleporter right in here like this. And then the second one, once we uh, use this driller to open up the area right there, is that I don't think you were intended to be able to open this uh, little switch right here from inside here. Although that probably doesn't matter too much if you don't also uh, do that first. But either way, um, we're just going to use this to get back through in the reverse order. And then with the teleporter here, we are going to get through this hole. We are also going to bring this uh, connector with us. And we're going to put it on the button, connect it to the end. And then one final time, we're going to pass all the way through the puzzle here. So we're going to put this right there. And we're going to keep that... Yeah, we want it open just like that. And stand on the button, teleport through, and then one final time we'll pass through these little windows here. And then just slightly adjust where the hole is. And this one is solved as well, and we never even had to use uh, the titular mule. Let's go ahead and spin our wheel one more time here. And it looks like external item is the winner. Uh, this is by far the most common one that I've done in this whole series. And uh, pretty self-explanatory, it just means I'm bringing an external item from another puzzle into the puzzle to break it. And the puzzle that we will be breaking with this exploit is West 3's Windstream. Alright, so first things first, we're going to run straight over to puzzle number 8 and borrow a box from it. And the way we're going to do this is just grabbing this connector, swapping it for a box right here, jumping out with it, and using it to escape the puzzle right here on this ramp. 
And then we'll jump over this wall as well. Alright, now let's bring this box over to the gold puzzle. And we're just going to use it to jump right over this wall here. Grab the box, bring it in with us. And this is going to be a little bit tricky, so we're going to connect this first connector to the red ones here. And we're going to take this second connector, and the problem is when we connect these, um, even if we put it on top of the box like that, uh, this wind stream blocks us so we can't get in there. So our solution is to simply outrun the wind stream. So we're going to put this right about here, and we kind of want to maximize both how close it is to this pillar, but also how far out, um, because if we put it like right here, then... You know, we can't put it on when we're way around the corner like this. So we just need to kind of put it out like that and then very quickly try to, nope, try to beat the fan. Let's get it a little bit closer if we can. That should work. And get as far through the corridor as we can before we put it on here. And we just sprint in just like that. All right, let's bring up the wheel and spin it. All right, external laser. So similar to the previous one, external items, uh, this is when we don't bring something into a puzzle per se, but we do use something from outside the puzzle, and uh, that specifically is a laser. Uh, and we are going to be using it in East One's Jump Start. So let me run over there and I will show you how I do it. All right, so there's actually two puzzles that we have to visit before the gold puzzle in this area. Um, we're gonna have to go into number five and get a connector out of it, use that connector in number four, and then we will be ready to go to the gold puzzle. So let's uh, start doing that. All right, so here is five, and we're just gonna grab this connector right next to the door and smuggle it through the gap here. There we go. And let's bring this to number four next. And once again, we'll just smuggle it through this gap right here to get it into the puzzle. All right, so we need to turn this fan on and connect it to the red laser in there. And then turn the fan off so we can get the connector on top of the box and then turn it back on again. All right, and it is in position, so let's run over to the gold one next. And then in here, all we're going to have to do is get the RGB thingy from in there. Um, yeah, let's get this box here so we can get the connector in here. Use it to open here. Grab this, and grab our connector again because we do need it. And we are going to connect the RGB connector. First of all, let's get it to the red thing over here. There it is. And we're going to want to put it right here, also connected to the blue one. And that will give us a green, so we'll just use our connector here to connect it to the end. And there's one more gold puzzle under our belt. Let's give that wheel one more spin. Next one will be parkour inside. So I'd say this is probably the second most common one uh, next to smuggling items in. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Again, uh, this is when we jump around inside of a puzzle in a way that we were not meant to. Almost like a kid jumping on the bed. So, uh... Let's see, we are going to be headed to Hollow in West 2, so give me a minute, I'll get over there and we'll meet back up. Absolutely. 
All right, and here is West 2, and the puzzle is going to be quite a long trek away. Um, I'm going to use those little fans uh, to take a shortcut up that mountainside there, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, and here we are at Hollow. So first thing we're going to need to do is get into this room right here. And the way we're going to do that is by swapping this for a connector. Connecting it to the red laser there. And using the activator to open this gate. And then all we need to do is just jump up on top of this rock right here. And then jump up onto this one, and onto that one, and then up onto the wall right here. And just sprint right over. Then we need to slide over that wall since we can't actually jump on it uh, to get into the end there. Alright, I did manage to save that somehow. Alright, let's try that one more time. There we go. Spin that wheel one more time. Gap smuggling. This is a very valuable skill that we first learned in West 1 and continued to use throughout pretty much the entire series. Uh, this is a very easy and very reliable way of... Oops, get a little distracted by the fall here, sorry. Uh, very easy and reliable way of getting items into and out of puzzles, even if you can't get over the wall. And this one is going to let us very easily and quickly solve non-overlapping magisteria in East 3, so I will meet you there. Alright, so this puzzle was one of the hardest ones for me in my first playthrough, and uh, it's very vindicating to be able to come back and just break it so quickly. Wow, it is really close to the start, isn't it? Alright, so it's going to be super fast. We just run in here, and we grab this item here, and we smuggle it through the gap right there. Line ourselves up correctly. Alright, and we pop that there. Pop this here, throw this on top of that, and there we go. I think that's our fastest one yet, maybe. Alright, and there's only one item left, so kind of not a point in spinning, but let's just go ahead and do it anyway. And item re-smuggling. Uh, this name is a little bit weird. But uh, all it really means is to smuggle an item out of a puzzle and then just smuggle it right back into that same puzzle at a different point. And we are going to use it in... North 2, Embodied Cognition. This is going to be our very last uh, gold puzzle, so let's go ahead and get that done real quick. Alright, and here we are on our final visit to the main 12 puzzle areas. Um, by the way, some parts of the interface might look a little bit weird uh, because I did most of these gold puzzles out of order. Um, so like the little tracker up in the top left corner and the map screen when you are traveling uh, between areas might look a little bit weird. I'm going to do my best to fix it, but if it looks off, that's why. So uh, let's just enter the puzzle here. And first off, we can just um, connect these two, just to get that out of the way. And what we're going to do here, um, like I said, this is item re-smuggling, so we're going to get an item out of the puzzle and then smuggle it back in. So we're going to take this uh, accumulator right here, and we want it on the other side charged blue. So we're just going to pass it through here. Conveniently, they uh, forgot to block off these very large circular windows, and then we're just going to leave the puzzle and go around to the right side here. And we're going to grab the accumulator and bring it around to this window where we can charge it. If we get the angle right. There we go. And we'll just pass it right back into the main area again. 
make our way back around to inside the puzzle. And it'll be a very simple solve now. Just connect that to the blue thing there. And we're all done, and there is puzzle number 12. Alright, so we are going to go back and uh, go to base camp and use the Somnodrome... I don't remember what it's called, the little dream machine, and we're going to go try to save Miranda. We were happy here in the beginning. For the first time, we could be who we wanted to be. The best versions of ourselves. Creating Miranda was an act of defiance in a way. To bring a new life into existence and say, this is good, this is fundamentally good, because human beings are unique and valuable, and every single one of them enriches the universe just by existing. We wanted to celebrate that, to be parents. After Miranda died, Athena started crumbling. Even with me there, she was lonely. For Athena, Miranda's death was final, and it was the finality of it that was so unbearable. We were moving forward relentlessly, and with every day, Miranda was further away. I could measure the distance between us in minutes, hours, days, years. But if what broke Athena was accepting that distance, for me, it was the opposite. That kind of grief annihilates you. You can't ever be the same person again. That's when I decided to go back. When I got back to New Jerusalem, I became the dusty old curator people wanted me to be. Except, of course, that the whole thing was a front. Studying the Archive hasn't answered any of our questions about humanity, but it has taught us something. And that's data recovery. I could not accept that my daughter was gone. Her body was... destroyed. But we're more than just a body. We're a pattern. A melody in ones and zeros. And I was convinced that somewhere, somehow, that melody still existed. That thought consumed me. In some ways, it broke me. It took me a while to figure it out. It was your visions that gave me the final confirmation that I was right. They're not all Athena's memories. Some of them are things Athena was never present for. Those are Miranda's memories, 1K. She's still in there, and we can save her. I believe the puzzle you just solved is part of something hidden deep inside Athena's dream. And hidden behind the most difficult trials is precisely the device I need access to. Come meet me. I have one last task for you. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way over to the Miranda saving machine up here. And normally this is a pretty fast and simple visit inside the machine, um, but I have something special planned. And you'll find out what that is uh, once we meet back inside of it. And welcome to the Miranda saving machine. So I mentioned earlier that we're going to be doing something extra in here. Uh, when I originally got out of bounds here to route this area out, I realized two things. One, this is just the tutorial. Um, they just load up the tutorial level again and uh, throw some extra stuff in it. And second of all, all of the puzzle pieces in the tutorial that we did not collect at the beginning of the game are still here. So that's what we're going to be doing, is uh, collecting the rest of those pieces. And I know I just did that in the last episode, uh, but that was more like an alternate universe kind of deal. Um, obviously I didn't go back in the main save and do that. So we are going to be getting all of the red and all of the yellow puzzle pieces here. And the first thing we need to do to do that is to get up onto the wall so we can get out of bounds. And uh, they have foolishly equipped us with a box right around the corner so we can do exactly that. So let's just run around here and grab that real quick. And then right on top of this pillar we can put it there and jump up. 
We're just going to run around and get into the red area first. It's going to be uh, quite a bit of wall running in this episode here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is jump up into the uh, fourth puzzle area right here. Grab that. And then we're just going to do the same trick we did in the last episode of putting this here and jumping up. And we're just going to leave this right here. Um, another quirk of this area is they have uh, removed all of the purple screens. Not sure why they did that, um, but it makes it very useful to us because we can just take anything anywhere we want. I think that would actually be a really fun uh, alteration to the game to play it again, where they just remove the purple screens so you can take anything anywhere. But anyway, we're just going to borrow some uh, pieces of the puzzle here. Bring them out, and then we're going to need a connector. All right, and we're going to bring this connector up on top of this puzzle. So we're going to put that in the corner and jump up here. And we're going to bring the box up with us. So we can get up on top of here again. And we're just going to connect this to the red in the previous puzzle there. And we're just going to go ahead and jump on in, grab piece number five. And then we don't need that connector up there, so we're just going to leave it. But we do... No, actually, we don't even need the box. So uh, we're going to bring one of these boxes over here to the first puzzle. And we're just going to jump around the corner right here. And there's puzzle piece number one. I don't think we need that box either. And we're just going to run over here, and we're going to quickly solve number two. Oh, you know what? I forgot something need to grab the connector from here. And we're just going to connect that there and there. Solve that one. Grab piece number two. And we're going to bring a connector over to puzzle number three next. I apologize for all the uh, screen distortion distortions and stuff. I, uh, increased the screen brightness a little bit to hopefully compensate, um, but it's probably still going to be a little bit weird. All right, and then we're just going to connect that to that, and we'll get puzzle piece number three here. All right, so that's all the red ones done. Um, we're just going to grab one of the boxes here and then escape again, and pretty much the only way to do that is right here. We're going to go back down into that hallway that we started in. drop down right there and then right over here in the corner we're just gonna put this there jump up here again or try to there we go and we just need to jump across so we can get out there so we're gonna hop up on this wall uh, my original route involved this really annoying gauntlet of like trying to jump across all these pillars there's like one, two, three, four, five, six pillars that you need to jump on. And these uh, little iron gates actually stick up over the pillars. So you run into them constantly and it's a nightmare. And I was like, I have to find another way. This is going to take me a hundred attempts to get across. And I did. So anyway, just run right over here, get out of bounds. And take the same route we did in the last episode. And we're just going to jump back in bounds again, just like that. We're going to need to collect a few boxes here. So we're going to need, uh, I think, five boxes will do it, which is going to be all the boxes in this area. So let's run over here. We're going to grab this jammer here. We're going to bring it into puzzle number four and get those two boxes first. We're just going to run them out. Man, this is so much easier when you uh, don't have to worry about purple screens. And we're just going to grab this box up here as well. We're going to bring one box into this area. We're going to grab the puzzle piece while we're at it. We're going to use this to get up here to free the other box. We're going to bring all of them over here.
All right, that should be five, right? If I counted right. It's four, where's our fifth box? Did I forget to bring it from in here? No, it's still in here. Cause we, yeah, right there, there we go. Actually, while we're at it, let's go ahead and get this puzzle piece here. Since we can't do anything the intended way, we're gonna bring more than one box up. Gonna stack them up right there and then jump out on top. There we go. We're gonna do a bit of a stacking puzzle. There's uh, actually quite a few stacking puzzles in this yellow area. It's kind of like the theme here. So our first one is to get up on top of this wall. Oh, there we go. We're gonna bring one box with us to help out here. So this is where the uh, green puzzle pieces are and uh, we can get one thing here. And as you can see, since we already collected it in the tutorial, it is no longer up there. And uh, thank God for that because honestly, while that one isn't hard to get and even this one that's blocked off in here is pretty easy to get to, uh, this one right here is like downright impossible. You just can't get in here. And then even if you like get through the roof, there's just no way back out again without using like photo mode glitches. So I'm uh, very fortunate that I didn't have to get that one. All right, so anyway, we're just gonna hop up here, put a box in the corner here that we can jump on. We're gonna hop into here. We're gonna grab these three boxes and stack them up right outside the door so we can get back out. Let's grab that box there and we can just jump right over the boxes here. Grab this box again. And we're gonna make another stack to get back over the wall. Let's get back into the corner and then we can grab these other two boxes as well. All right, and then here's our uh, second box stacking puzzle. We need to get two boxes up over the wall here. Oop. Or three boxes. Is it three boxes? Yeah, we need to grab three boxes. Okay. So we're going to grab that one first, drop it in. And we're going to... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Man, why does it keep doing that to me? Let's grab that one. Put that there. Jump up. Okay, there we go. And here's our second box and our third box. We can no longer reach any of those three, but that's fine. Um, we only need seven boxes in here total, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the next thing we're going to do is bring them all over to number seven here. Number seven. Uh, all over to number three here. reason that we've brought them all over here is uh, our final puzzle piece is in this, uh, in puzzle number four. Unfortunately, they've uh, rather unhelpfully spawned this giant wall of rocks right across here, and this is like one massive solid wall. So there is no way to get to that piece from down here. Um, we're going to have to come in from above to get up on that roof there. And we are also going to need, need to get back out because we need to go save Miranda. Um, so that posed quite the uh, problem, but I've figured out a solution. So uh, first of all, let's just go over here and get that puzzle piece there. And there we go. And getting back out will be really easy because we can just grab this jammer and use it there. All right, so here's the final puzzle um, that involves stacking boxes here. So we're just gonna need to stack up a bunch like that. We need to bring the other four up on top of this wall here. Ideally without falling into that little uh, crevice there, because I don't think there's a way back out if you fall there. There's that. We'll bring our fourth up, and uh, we're kind of losing boxes every time we need to stack. 
but that's fine because we have exactly enough. So we're going to need to drop down and grab this box and hop back up in here. And then we can grab this last box. So we lose one box right there because there's no way to grab it from on top of the wall here. Um, which leaves us with six now. And then we can start getting up on top of this little uh, archway here where we will lose a couple more boxes. So we can bring one, two, and three up and we can no longer grab any more because we just can't reach that one below us. And if we jump down, there's no way back up here to grab them. But that's fine because all we need is three. And then we're gonna put one of them right here on the edge. And we're gonna bring two up onto that roof up there. Oh. All right, that was uh, just about the worst thing that could have happened there. Um, I just had to redo that whole section to get back here because there's no way out of that once you fall in there. Uh, so anyway, let's do this one more time, but much more carefully. So we're gonna need to get two boxes down there. So we're just gonna grab these two and get them over there. Yeah, do not fall in there. All right, and then we're just gonna drop two boxes down here. We're gonna grab our puzzle piece and we're just gonna stack these two boxes up in the corner like that. We're gonna jump in this guy's lap, get on top of there, jump on his head, grab one of these and then just kind of spam jump while we click to uh, place it down and then jump up on top of it to get out. Try that one more time. Mm. Usually don't have this much trouble with this. Remember that curse I uh, talked about at the very beginning of the series where I do things perfectly on the first try and then I can never do it again? Yeah, this is kind of what's going on right now. There we go. And we don't need either of those boxes, so we're just going to jump back down here. We're going to take this box and we're going to get out of bounds with it. Because it is time to go get Miranda. Very carefully jump over here because I don't want to screw this up. And we're just going to run all the way around to the end there, um, which is the beginning of the tutorial. And we're just going to need to make our way into this room right here, which is uh, where the very first jammer of the series is located. And to do that, we're going to run over here and get up on top of this statue base. And run around here, and we do need a box with us, and you'll see why in a minute. We jump up on top of these rocks to get up on top of the wall again. Onto this little uh, archway thing. To the next one. And in. And in a final show of humiliation against this uh, tutorial, we're just going to place a box here. And wait for the jump prompt to pop up right there. And you can ride these little bombs. And they cannot hurt you here. So we're just going to jump off. And run over to Miranda. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, my job is never over. All right, let's try that one more time without foolishly running headfirst into this room. All right, and here is Miranda. All right, and that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. Uh, we only have one more episode left. We're going to go into the megastructure for our final visit. We are going to do the endgame puzzles, and that's really it. So uh, I'll meet you in the next one. Peace. We're going to do that by jumping up on these uh, trees right here, and they have a very tricky hitbox. Uh, they're not flat on top. They're like a sphere. So it's really easy to accidentally walk too far and slide right off of it. So it's pretty tricky, and it's probably going to take some uh, fast forwarding, so let's see. Well, I was wrong about that.